Let's see how we can install NumPy and write some NumPy code in Visual Studio code. Let's first create a new project that uses NumPy. So I'll click on open folder. Go to desktop and create a new project and let's call it NumPy project. Select this and it is empty for now. Let's create a new file. Let's call it main.py and here I'll write some NumPy code. So my Python interpreter is not selected. I'll choose a Python version. Let's choose 3.12. That is the latest version. I have two versions installed. If you want to check how you can have multiple Python versions, uh, click the link in the description below. I have a tutorial for that. As you can see, you see this error here that says NumPy could not be resolved. This is because we have not yet installed NumPy. So what you can do is click on this terminal here. Click on new terminal. And once the terminal is open, let's first check our Python version. Because sometimes what might happen is the Python version that is added to your path might be different from the one you have here in your Visual Studio code. So make sure these two are same, right? And then just write this command Python mpip install numpy. Alright, now if you are on Windows, if you cannot find command Python, just try to write py, not the whole Python. Okay, now hit enter. And now NumPy will be installed. As you can see, you'll see this message that says successfully installed NumPy. Now let's try to run this. I'll close this and let's try to run this by clicking this button here. Now, as you can see, NumPy is working fine and we have this output. Now we installed NumPy using pip, right? And it is installed in now global directory. So every project across your system will have access to NumPy. But in some case, you might want to use NumPy version 2 in some project, NumPy version 3 in some project. So you can achieve that by creating a virtual environment and installing NumPy in that virtual environment. So if you want to do that, check the links in the description. It will show you how to create virtual environment and how to install packages in virtual environment. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.